Uh, how badly was the new extension needed here? Uh, it was absolutely required. The space in the department was far, far too um, small. The, the area felt really cramped all the time. Um, as you can see walking around with, with the lighting, it would give a, a real, really good feeling of space. Uh, even though it's still quite small, um, we've got additional cubicle capacity, which means that we'll be able to offload ambulances quicker. Uh, the reorganisation of the space means that we can uh, stream patient groups, so those who are critical or seriously ill and well will be in one area of the department, and the people who may self-present with a more minor ailment or illness or injury will be in a separate area, uh, which we've not been able to do before now. Um, so that will hopefully or, uh, will increase the... Um, efficiency of the department so that the staff are working in teams to address a certain patient group rather than a bit of a, mi a mismatch of who's going where and so it allows us to organise organize the department far better uh, because we've got the physical separation of the, of the areas. With the observation ward it allows us to avoid admission for a number of patients who up until now would have been required an inpatient stay uh, because of demands on the capacity of the department, pressures of four-hour journey targets, uh, and um, ensuring that people get the right care before they go home. Um, so that's going to be an immense asset to the department as well. And um, whilst it's only four beds, they're designed in such a way that we can um, uh, meet all of the requirements with regards to single-sex accommodation, mm. privacy and dignity, all of the rooms that have got their own ensuite uh, units as well as sort of a, a separate side room. So. Uh, Patients will have privacy whilst they're here, and it's nice and quiet as well, so they'll be able to get some rest. 